Not far from Kanab, Utah is a place that has roots dating back over 230 million years ago. This short hike is known as Dinosaur Tracks. The trail starts off at a parking lot that is connected to the Utah Port of Entry. After spending a little bit of time with this adorable guy, we decide that it is time to hit the trail. This is another one of those adventures that even though it is technically considered a hike, it's almost hard to consider it one because it's only about three quarters of a mile long. Even though it is quite short, there is a decent amount of elevation gain. To find the dinosaur tracks, you will need to climb the hill that is in the background here and it adds up to about 246 feet of gain. The only tricky thing about this trail is that there are a bunch of trails going in different directions and no markings until you get to this large arrow that V helped rebuild. If you follow the detailed directions on our website, you should be able to find it without any problem. After you pass the arrow that we saw just a second ago, it will be time to start the climb. Shoes with excellent traction are an absolute must here because there are plenty of steep and very slippery sections all along this climb. The other thing that I would highly recommend bringing is plenty of water. Even though on paper this hike looks like a piece of cake, it is quite a workout. Around one tenth of a mile into the hike, the climb will level off for just a second. Be sure to enjoy this because it's about to get a whole lot steeper. I hate to break it to you, but not only is the second part of the climb steep, but it's about three times as long as the first one too. There is a ton of loose rock in this section, so if you're going in a group, be careful because the person in front of you could accidentally kick some down. As much as I would like to pretend that we kicked it into beast mode and just flew right up this hill, I'll be totally honest with you, we had to take several breaks on our way up towards the top. Just like the trails on the flat land at the bottom, there are a ton of different trails that run up the side of this hill. The good thing about this is that you can take your time and check them out and take the ones that seem like they're more up to your skill level. You definitely don't want to risk taking a fall here because I have a feeling it would take you all the way back down to the bottom. Finally, we had reached the top and we were just one more tiny little rock climb from the dinosaur tracks. The climb looked like it could be tricky, but if you take your time, it's really actually quite easy. Once you get up to the top, you have to look around just a little bit to find the prints. Some people had set little rock piles around the prints to help you find them. Some of the tracks looked a little bit faint, but they're in pretty good condition considering that they're hundreds of millions of years old. I think that it goes without saying, but if you visit, please practice leave no trace and do not damage the dinosaur tracks. Now you may be wondering what dinosaur these tracks belong to. Well luckily I've got the answer for you. These prints belong to the Growlator which existed in the late Triassic period. It's probably a good thing that these dinosaurs don't exist these days because they were carnivores and as tired as you're going to be from climbing up that hill, you probably would have been a pretty easy snack. The dinosaur tracks are not the only benefit of climbing up this hill, there is also a really nice view of the surrounding area. After we found what we believed were all of the tracks up on top of the hill, we decided that it was time to start heading back down. You need to be especially careful because for some reason going down slippery hills seems like it can be a lot more challenging than going up the slippery hills sometimes. This is another benefit to the area being filled with multiple trails. It might not be a bad idea to look for the less steep trails on the way back. One more benefit of this hike is that since it's so short, you should probably only take about 45 minutes to an hour to complete it. And there are a couple other really cool short hikes and things to see in the area like the Moki Caves and the Belly of the Dragon. You can easily hit all three in one day. Once you get down from the hill, you are pretty much just left with the easy task of finding which trail is the shortest way back to the car. The Dinosaur Tracks is a really cool experience if you are already in the area. I don't know if I would drive a couple of hours to go see them, but if you're in Kanab or the surrounding area, I think it would be worth stopping by. Oh, and before we go, here's one more fun fact about the Growlator. His name translates into Stiltwalker because of his long legs. You learn something new every day. And that is going to do it for our trip up the hill to see the dinosaur tracks. If you enjoy these videos, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for all the information about dinosaur tracks as well as other awesome things to do around Kanab, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.